we did not give directions for it to appear here today. So I think we can now proceed on the basis of that clarification. Thank you, Judge. Uh, just, a, just a minute, please. Perhaps just to add that the, the numerous other petitions that are coming up, I think the process is ongoing. Maybe not all the files have been transmitted to the bench. Maybe by the time we leave this courtroom, other files will have been transmitted to the bench. But as we speak now, here and now, there, these are the only files that were transmitted to the bench and in which there are applications where the bench gave directions for hearing today. That is not to say that those are all the petitions there are. We don't even know whether the transmission has been done yet and that we will go back and find this. all the other petitioners whose concerns are valid, perhaps this file will now be before the same format. Yes, my daughter, I believe now I can be able to make the clarifications. We are starting with the other immediate background that uh, we need to make these clarifications and we take into so, account. Let, let, let us finish the program first. I, I, I was quorum assuming quorum was quorum, quorum, quorum in E013, which was consolidated in the where? With E014. Let's take quorum on that file. Oh. I believe it is important for us to put things into proper perspective. Because when you call the matters, if a team was not part of what was called, I've not had it, perhaps it could be in here. The court, in E015, there has never been a consultation. To the best of my knowledge, what are you talking about consolidation? There, nobody has talked about the consolidation. These parties have not been consolidated. I think that is the next process we'll be going into. Nobody has talked about the consolidation. If you look at the record, you will find that the directions for today's hearing are given specifically on each and every file. There was no consolidation of any matter. No matter has been consolidated. So, let us not uh, uh, dwell on things which really are not before the court. Now, matter has been consolidated, and let us proceed from there. If you want to apply for any files to be consolidated, that is okay. As we speak now, there is no consolidation. The directions from this court were very specific on three different files. Well, my Lord, I'm more guided, but when Justice Rima was giving the clarification, I never heard him clarify whether the Kirogoya file has been integrated into the Nairobi system. Uh, because we, we cannot be then be dealing with a file that is really Kirogoya. Because of course, if there is no integration in Lordship, then there is a rat that is made. My Lord, uh, may I say something? Mr. Let me answer you. You said that records speak for themselves. And uh, for record, matters which came from Karagoya came with their own record. And the record states here that the matter herein is consolidated with petition E014 of 2024 and the same to be delivered in the Chief Justice for empanelment of bench in terms of the ruling in petition E014 of 2024, a copy of which shall be placed on this file. So, your own matter coming from Kerugoya was already consolidated. Those proceedings which took place in Kerugoya consolidated these two files. So, th let that not be an issue here, please. Yeah. Uh, on the directions issues on 11th by Judge Richard Mongo, these were the directions. The petitions, the petitioner in E 014 2024 to serve their amended petition on all parties. Similarly, the petitioner in E 013 2024 to serve their petition on all parties. Respondents, the petition to file their responses by noon of 17th of October 2024. Given that the files are being routed to Honorable Chief Justice forthwith, the party's response to the amended petition 
and petition E013 of 2024 may be filed in Karugoya under the Karugoya case tracking system online, where upon they shall be forwarded to Nairobi. So this proceeding took place in Karugoya. So this court has not consolidated any matter. Petition number E14, E014, and petition number E013 are hereby consolidated. The parties who appeared before the Kuruguya court were given those orders. Those were your orders. And uh, with, with your permission, presiding judge, uh, the, the reason why uh, uh, Nairobi has not opened another file to put together all the files from Uruguaya is this. Going by the orders which were issued by Kiruguya court, there was a specific order that because of the transmission, parties will still file their documents under the Kiruguya CTS, that is the court tracking system. We had to hold on to that so that not to disadvantage any of the parties until we appear today. Those are some of the things we will deal with here and make order to the Honorable Deputy Registrar to formalize that. So there should be no cause for alarm. We will put everything into its place. Thank you. I presume now we will now raise the issues that we want to raise, particularly arising from the issues in Kerouac. And uh, I do not know... We proceed and take quorum on they were consolidated, so we don't take further quorum on this one. Uh, the Attorney General, I don't know, I have indicated to the court earlier, I need to raise some clarifications. Section 7 of the Attorney General's Act. You had read your subject, mm -hmm. to speak. Mm -hmm. the Constitution. Does it override my right to represent my clients? I'm repeating it. Can she then say her piece, I say mine? Mm -hmm. uh, which part are we now delivering? <laughs> My Lord, I wanted to say that the only matters before this court are the matters which had expert orders. The matters that came from Kerugoya E13 and E14, although consolidated, they were filed before impeachment and they have no conservatory orders. E13, we have E15. E15 has conservatory orders, but E13 and E14, although from Kerugoya, they were filed before impe impeachment and they had no conservatory orders. Yeah. I hope uh, I can then be heard without other appearances. My Lord, uh, my Lord, I'm leading the number of advocates in this matter from Kenyaga, E015. Yes, Yes. My Lord, uh, the clarification that uh, I seek to raise uh, emanates against this general background. The first one, uh, my Lord, is that there was a sitting on Saturday, which the court has since explained how that sitting occurred. With regards to that sitting, my clients 